Boniface is very from Kenya, Africa, and I'm here to present to you bioalkanol gel as a form of renewable energy. Now, in Kenya, more than 90% of households use biomass fuels despite the adverse effects it has on climate change and the health. More than 100,000 hectares lay bare due to deforestation per year, and the main culprits being charcoal and firewood users. Now, each one of us here eats fruits. What do we do to the fruit fillings? We throw them away. On decomposition, they produce a lot of methanoic compounds, polluting the environment. Each one of us here also eats eggs and chicks hatch. What do we do to the eggshells? We throw them away. And on decomposition, they pollute the environment. Now, it is in this understanding that I decided to develop an environmentally friendly fuel from eggshells and fruit peelings, the bioalkanol gel, to replace the use of charcoal, firewood, kerosene, and expensive LPG gas. Now, our deal will be selling one liter of alka gel at uh, 0 0.9 euros per liter to the supermarkets, food kiosks, and households. Now, our pitch market was supermarkets because I was approached by several supermarkets in Kisumu. So we'll be targeting 30 supermarkets in Kisumu with 100,000 households. We'll later on move the western part of Kenya, Kenya itself, and then East Africa later on. Now, our customer value proposition, actually we're going to make our customers very happy by reducing the cost of the product by 68%. Currently, the most commonly used fuels are fired and charcoal, and they are very expensive despite the fact that they are also greatest emitters uh, of uh, carbon into the atmosphere. Now, our product, uh, we are getting eggshells, which are plenty in Kenya, grinding them to form uh, uh, the powder, getting fruit peelings, fermenting them to produce ethanol, and then combining the two. Now, to make the fuel appear, the color it is appearing, we target the orange peels. Orange peels, I'm extracting a bio-oil known as D-limonene. D-limonene has the following properties. Number one, it is a mosquito repellent. Number two, it has very nice fragrance. Number three, meaning if you are cooking using this fuel, there's not that nice orange scent in your house. Then, as you are cooking also, you are repelling mosquitoes and other insects because it has the properties of repelling mosquitoes. And then, the, 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 the biomass after uh, fermentation, it, we are using it too to, as a biofertilizer. Now, the fuel, uh, one liter burns continuously for 10 hours, and um, uh, one liter of water will boil, boil within five minutes. One liter of water on a gas will boil within eight minutes. So the fuel is friendly, there's no emissions, it is very, very efficient. Now, on financials, uh, with a market of 100,000, with a market share of 25%, with customers 25,000, we'll be able to make a profit of 351,000 euros per year. Now, on climate impact, I talked of the main fuels being fired and charcoal. Now, we're going to reduce the carbon emissions by 80% using this amazing fuel. Now, it is more affordable, and the most important thing is that we patented the project with the Kenya Industrial Properties Institute. Apart from that, it is environmentally friendly. Now, our team is um, Boniface Jiveri, the founder. We have Diana Kwanyi in, in sales manager, Dr. David Musimi, an agroforestry specialist, who is the technical director, we have Professor Chacha as a chemist, a professor of renewable energy, and we dream to create an innovative, environmentally friendly, effective form of energy, and to achieve a, a valuation of 4 million by 2022. And we want to provide access to clean, affordable energy for the growing rural populations in Kenya. Thank you.